Hi, Jan. Uh, please tell us how you feel right now. I can say the short version of the game. I think we did a decent team. Uh, we played against a team that defended a bit more, so they didn't press us as much. First half we uh, had some chances, but they managed to get the lead, but we equalized just before halftime. Second half we had four really great chances and we had uh, hitting the posts and the crossbar and Dayan had a really good chance as well. So it felt like we would score eventually. Unfortunately we don't. So in the extra time it went the way it went. The, the, the red card it really decided the game and, and, and we had to really fight for it. It's incredibly uh, difficult and, and it's tough tough result to take. We had had some long throw-ins, uh, but we did not manage to do much in the extra time. It's a very bitter defeat. So there's not much to say as a, as a coach uh, in the dressing room after that. Uh, everyone can uh, take it the way they want, so we will have to take it tomorrow. What's your view on the red card? I was uh, really surprised it was a free kick at first when I saw it, but uh, but uh, my colleagues in in the stand said it was a uh, red card and it's a it's a very experienced uh, referee, so uh, I haven't seen it fully again. So I I think it's probably right. I felt that we had uh, good control of the, of the game, so I didn't decided not to make any changes sooner. Uh, when Ludwig Augustinsson uh, had some problems, we decided to change both full fullbacks to maybe work the counter attacks. Then day and. Alex, uh, they felt felt good and had some energy left, and they were really dangerous in this game. So I didn't want to take them off the too early, and uh, Dayan was close to being the decider. I decided to uh, to make the, the substitutions in uh, in the. Uh, extra time, so I wanted fresh legs for that, but unfortunately it wasn't enough. Question from Petra. Hi Jan. Can I uh, elaborate on the substitutions? Is that something that you think, looking back, that you could have maybe won the game by putting on different players. You could probably analyze it uh, greatly, but uh, during the game I felt that we had a great balance in the team and we created chances, so at that moment I did not feel like that. So towards the end I realized that we could have just saved them into the extra time. So. I could probably have made different changes, but uh, overall, I think the, the players who played played well. If you look at Forsberg, even though the, uh, the you're out of the championship, what can you say about how what he meant to you in this championship? Emily is fantastic. Uh, he doesn't. He did get a chance to score in the uh, extra time, so Emil has been fantastic, he's an important player for us. He scored four goals and, and three from open play, so that's of course good. Players that have said uh, before the championship that he would be playing his last championship, Marcus Berg and Sebastian Larsson, 
uh, that they would retire from the international stage? Uh, what have you talked to them? Well, we haven't had the chance to talk about that, uh, so we'll have to just uh, assess uh, later on and talk to them. Question from Noah. Hi, Jan, just uh, a question about their goal towards the one, towards the end. What's your perception of what happened with the two one goal? I don't have any perception other than he managed to whip it in uh, towards the end there. But we managed to keep them away quite well, but. Uh, I thought that we should have maybe kept it away. You had some exchange of words with Chevchenko there before the game was over. What were you talking about? Well, I was a little bit tired. I felt that they were, uh, were diving a bit towards the end. But uh, I was complaining to the fourth official, but he did not agree with me, so he wasn't happy about that. Uh, another question about the red card. You see it differently from down on the pitch uh, and, and from the stands. Uh, have you managed to talk to Marcus after the game? I just I went to talk to I just went to give him a hug uh, after the game, so we will talk after after this. After the final whistle, you looked like you were very emotional. Why was that? I think that we did an okay championship, uh, even though we lost today. Sweden hasn't gone through the group stages since 2004, so we were close to going through in this game and we, we, we had a good chance. Uh, if we did not perform well and lost, uh, I would be pissed, but um, I don't think we did that. We, we, we fought for it and we tried to at least get the penalties. So it's a terrible uh, as a leader to, to see that uh, we lost it in the end. When Emil hit the crossbar, it was another one from distance. Um, did you start thinking about why the ball wouldn't go in? I don't know. Uh, Dejan went in and, and t took the shots that he's able to do, and uh, we, we created a lot of chances, and we created enough chances to win the game, but I don't think there was uh, uh, any particular thought about why it didn't go in. If you create chances, you normally get a reward, but we didn't get that this time. Thank you. Johan, next question. I did not manage to get the video today uh, either. You say that it's an okay championship. Um, is that how you would uh, review it? Yeah, I think it's a clearly an okay championship. We won the group and went through. It's it's a long time since Sweden went through the group stages. But of course we wanted to win this game and, and, and stumble at the goal line. Of course, uh, the red card had a, had a great effect, so I think we, we would have had a better chance of winning the game if we did not concede that. But I think it's uh, clearly a, a decent championship for us. Anton, next question. There are more players that play in their first championship, like Alexander and Dejan. What do you think about their first championship? I think they played well. Dejan. Uh, Unfortunately, wasn't with us the whole time, but uh, due to COVID. But uh, he, this was his first game from the beginning. Um, I think he did well. He uh, was the deciding factor against Poland, and uh, Alex did really well. 
are two really exciting forwards and um, they are already really good and I think it's really a pleasure to see that. Do you feel that the future is bright for this national team? Yes, I'm convinced. I think we will uh, take some new step, new, we'll collect our strengths and uh, Matthias Swanberg uh, did not manage to play because he was had the COVID, uh, so Jordan Larson is not that young, but he's still a young national team player. So we have a lot of players. There's, of course, uh, there are new players coming around, so I am not worried at all that we won't have a strong national team. What's your view on your performance as a manager, as this head coach for Sweden? Well, to be an analyze it all the time, I think that we uh, did a decent championship and we managed to get things together quite well. We were played. We played maybe a little bit too far down the pitch, but uh, it's not something that we went into the championship thinking we would do. But. We had uh, the ball quite quite a fair bit in the during periods of this game, so I felt that we were growing as a team and we could have grown more in this tournament and we had more to give. So it's very unfortunate that we didn't manage to deliver on those chances. So as a team, I think uh, team and, and me and my colleagues also get a, a, a decent... Let's try with Johan again. Jan, you talked about uh, before the championship, uh, it was maybe the greatest squad depth that you've had, but you did not make many changes. And we talked about the substitutions that were made quite late. Was the was the overall squad not as uh, broad as you thought? If you're looking back, well, I think that we show that we we put on some players that made a difference. Uh, but I just felt that the starting eleven was really strong, and that's why I decided not to rotate more. Dayan was not uh, an option earlier in the tournament, so. Other than that, I think that the other, the players did really well. I feel confident that we selected the best starting eleven for each t each game. Uh, things can always go differently, but uh, in my world, uh, we we did did the right thing because we had fresh legs on in in the extra time period. But I think that we had uh, quite a good grip on the on the game uh, for for long periods of the second half. So that's why I decided to keep them on. Uh, looking from the outside, I, we thought maybe it was a really good chance to go really far in this tournament uh, with the teams that were left. Well. I, of course, am really disappointed that we didn't win the game today. Uh, we had had a chance, and, and the red card and the late goal, I'm really disappointed with. If we would have had uh, another game on Saturday, we would have had to win against England, and that would have been a really difficult one. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't get there. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone.